This is the final devlog on my four year journey to create my dream game. By the end, my first indie game, Farewell North, will be available for PC, Mac, Xbox, and Switch, so surely I'm done working on it now, right? Right? Oh, and by the way, later in this video, the very first reviews for Farewell North will be live, and, well, I'm not gonna lie, I may have cried a little while reading them. But first, one last feature. I've always had this idea as a stretch goal, but I didn't think it would actually happen because it's a little bit expensive. But I keep thinking about it, so I asked my publisher to get us a quote, and yeah, it's pricey. But they liked the concept, and they had a pretty interesting idea that might justify the expense. Okay, let's take a step back. See, the Gaelic language is obviously very important to Scotland, which is where Farewell North takes place. The language literally describes the country with so many iconic Scottish locations having Gaelic names, and Gaelic terms like loch and glen making their way into the English vocabulary. There's even a side quest in Farewell North where you'll learn that Gaelic has a special significance to our characters, but you can't actually play in Gaelic, which is really a shame. And the reason is, unfortunately, localization's quite expensive. For context, our localization budget is several thousand euros, which will only cover like half a dozen languages. There's way more dialogue in the game than I had originally planned, so unfortunately we have to prioritize that budget for languages with the largest player bases. Niche languages like Gaelic are extra expensive because they require specialized translators, so it's just not feasible for something that realistically, very few players are going to use, if any. But I did mention that my publisher had an idea, so let's get to work one last time. Okay, we've committed to this idea, but the game releases in just a few days, so I can't wait for the translators, I need to build the feature in English now, and then bring in the Gallic translations as soon as they're ready, hopefully just in time for release. It's a bit of a race against the clock, so there's really no time to waste, we need to get going. Alright, well there's no time to wait for Unity either. So the idea is to present players with an option when starting a new game. Given the importance of Gallic to the characters, would you like to enable a second, smaller subtitle beneath the main subs that shows the dialogue in Gallic? This way you can play in English, German, Chinese, Ukrainian, whatever your native language is, and still get the Gallic dialogue subtitles if that's interesting to you. It's a really simple idea, but I think it's pretty special. We do have to handle a few special cases, like if you already have Gallic as your primary language, or if you've disabled subtitles entirely, but after handling those, the prompt is good to go. If you start a new game and your settings are compatible, you'll be presented with this modal, and if you select yes here or you turn the setting on at any time, then I've added this second line to the subtitles which will show you the Gallic translation for all the dialogue. Or it will anyways. We, we don't have the Gallic translations just yet, but that'll come in later today. While we wait for the translations, I just received a very exciting update from my composer John, who's been hard at work wrapping up the soundtrack and it sounds like it might be ready. Man, John made something really beautiful with this. Honestly, the soundtrack is up there with the very best of them. And I have no problem saying that because that was 100% him. We, you know, collaborated very closely, but he understood every moment and every beat and he ran with it and he made something really, really beautiful. So definitely go stream it. You can stream it on Apple, YouTube, Spotify, all the big platforms. And you can also pick it up on Steam. And yeah, show John some love because he, he made something really incredible here. But we have work to do. The Gallic translations just came in. They kindly rushed to get us a rough version to start, and we'll get a final proofread version soon, but this is enough to get the feature into QA. You up for a game of fetch? <coughs> yeah, I thought so. Go on, boy. Go fetch. This is a simple feature, but it feels very special to me. Gaelic used to be the primary language of Scotland, but nowadays only 1-2% of people actually understand it. There are many initiatives to preserve and perhaps even revive the language, and I'm really proud that we could play a very small part in that. Language conservation aside, to me this kind of thing adds a lot of flavour to a game, and if you're interested in getting a little bit more of the Scottish culture, I think it's a nice touch. So let me know if you'll play with or without this feature, I'm very curious to know. I've been doing some testing and I'm satisfied everything's working, so I'm going to send this off to my publisher for QA and then I'll start getting the patches ready for Switch and Xbox, but for now, something terrifying just happened.
Okay, the review embargo just came up 10 minutes ago, and we got our first review, and honestly, it's actually really good, like way better than anything I could have imagined. I'll spare you the embarrassing footage of me reading that review, but over the course of the few days it took to edit this devlog, more and more reviews have been coming in, and the response has been overwhelmingly positive. After four years working on this game every single day, getting up at 4am every morning for the last year, all this stress and anxiety and imposter syndrome, I'm not going to say it was all worth it just for these reviews, but it does feel good. But it's lines like this. If you've experienced grief, especially recently like I have, I do not doubt that this gorgeous indie about a border collie helping their owner deal with their own grief will resonate deeply. It might even make that uncomfortable path you're traveling feel less cold. This means so much. I set out to make a game about saying farewell, but I never wanted it to be sad for the sake of being sad. And seeing that actually come up in a review with a line like, Somehow it never feels dark nor depressing, instead it's an uplifting and optimistic demonstration of how time heals wounds. That means we actually managed to land that and it worked. It's starting to give me the first impressions I've had in a very long time that this may have all been worth it. My wife says this game's broken me, and she's right. Behind the scenes, I've been really struggling the last few months. It's something I'll definitely talk about in more detail in a video after release. That's not at all fixed yet. I'll need some time after the game comes out, but every once in a while, I'll get a comment saying that the demo meant a lot to someone, that they left it feeling moved, and whether it's rational or not, it just lifts me, and it really helped me finish the game. These first reviews feel like a sort of culmination of all that, an unbiased confirmation from someone who knows nothing about me, that the game has meaning and it was worth being made. So I just want to say thank you to all the reviewers who took the time to play and critique the game. Your reviews mean more than you know. They won't all be so positive, but that's okay, they don't have to be. I'm just glad the game is landing with people and leaving them feeling something. If Feral North sounds like your kind of game, or if you just want to support this journey, you can pick up your copy of the game right now with a 20% launch discount on Steam for PC or Mac, or grab it for Xbox or Nintendo Switch. I hope you thoroughly enjoy your time with Kaylee and Chesley, and if so, please leave a review. Believe it or not, those Steam reviews make all the difference in whether I'll get to do this again and make another game. But more than anything, thank you so much for following me these last four years. The game is far better, thanks to all of your comments, suggestions, and love, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that the only reason I've been lucky enough to achieve so many life dreams the last few years is thanks to all of you. A special thank you to all my patrons who directly support development on the game, and an extra special shout out to the Magpie supporters and my Ospreys, Elegon, Purple Slaw Studio, Jason Hansen, Elise Whaley, Raven Painted, Justice Lind, and Oliver Morehouse. Thank you all for the last four years, I can't wait to hear what you think of Feral North, and I'm really excited to see what happens next.